Welcome to Catlaw Truck Driving School's pre-trip training video series. This video is to assist you with preparing and studying for your pre-trip test on your CDL exam, the exterior of the Class B vehicle. Have your training manuals ready? Let's go. Before you begin, make sure that the wheel chocks are out and the keys are in your pocket. As I approach the front of my vehicle, say that I'm now checking for leaks from the hoses, puddles on the ground, and dripping fluids from the underside of the engine and transmission. The truck is not leaning to one side or the other, which may indicate a tire or suspension problem. Headlights, touch and say. Both headlights, including low beam and high beam, are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, clear in color, and operate properly. There's no missing hardware. Signal lights, touch and say. Both signal lights and the emergency lights are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, amber in color, and they operate properly with no missing hardware. Marker lights. Point out the five marker lights on the top of the cab. Say, the marker lights are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, amber in color, and they operate properly with no missing hardware. Now, raise the hood and go to the passenger side. Alternator. Touch and say. The alternator is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. It operates properly and is belt driven. Make sure that you touch the belt and wires when talking about them. And the belt has no more than three quarters of an inch of play in the middle of the belt. The belt is not cracked, frayed or broken. The wires are securely mounted, no missing hardware, and there are no bare, frayed wires. Water pump. Touch and say. The water pump is securely mounted, not leaking, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. It operates properly and is belt driven. Make sure that you touch the belt when talking about it. And the belt has no more than three quarters of an inch of play at the middle point of the belt. The belt is not cracked, frayed or broken. The hoses are securely mounted, not cracked, worn or broken. There's no leaks and there's no missing hardware. Coolant reservoir, touch and say. The coolant reservoir is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. It's not leaking and the fluid level is at the correct operating range. The cap is secure with a tight seal, not cracked and is not leaking. The hoses are securely mounted, not cracked, worn or broken, not leaking and there is no missing hardware. Engine bay driver's side. Air compressor, touch and say. The air compressor is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken. There's no missing hardware. It is gear driven, not leaking and operates properly. The hoses are securely mounted, not cracked, worn or broken, not leaking, and there's no missing hardware. Engine frame, touch and say. The engine frame is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. There are no illegal welds or holes drilled in the frame or in the flange. Engine oil dipstick. Put your hand on the engine oil dipstick and say, my engine oil dipstick is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken, there's no missing hardware, it is not leaking, and I would check the fluid level by pulling the dipstick out, wiping it off, reinserting it, pulling it back out, and check that the fluid level is in the correct operating range. If not, I would fill it back up to the proper level. Engine overview. Point around the engine as you note things and say that all hoses are securely mounted, not cracked, worn or broken, there's no leaks, and there's no missing hardware. All the wires are securely mounted with no missing hardware, and there's no bare or frayed wires. Suspension group. Spring hangers. They're securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken. There's no missing hardware. They're not damaged and they have no missing bushings. The rear shackle is in place with the bushing in place as well. Next, leaf springs. Securely mounted and there are no leaves missing. They are not shifted, scissored, cracked or broken. U-bolts. All U-bolts are securely mounted with no missing hardware. They're not cracked, broken or loose. There are four nuts four washers and four bolts. There are no shiny threads that would indicate looseness or cross-threading. Shock absorbers. My shock absorbers are securely mounted, not missing any hardware, not bent, cracked or damaged, and they're not leaking. Power steering group. Power steering reservoir, securely mounted, not cracked, broken or damaged, no missing hardware, not leaking and is filled to the proper level. The cap is present and tight and it has a good seal and is not leaking. And I would check the fluid level by pulling the dipstick out, wiping it off, reinserting it, pulling it back out and check that the fluid level is in the correct operating range. If not, I would fill it back up to the proper level. Power steering pump. Gear driven, breathes properly, not cracked, broken or damaged, no missing hardware, securely mounted, and is not leaking. Steering wheel shaft. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, and has no missing hardware. U-joints. Both my U-joints are securely mounted, well lubricated, and there's no foreign objects lodged in them. It is not cracked, bent, broken, and has no missing hardware. Power steering gearbox and power steering hoses. They're securely mounted, no missing hardware, not damaged and not leaking. All the power steering hoses are securely mounted, not cracked or worn, and are not leaking. The hoses have no abrasions, bulges or cuts, and there is no missing hardware. My pitman arm, drag link, steering knuckle, and tie rod. They're securely mounted, not worn, loose or cracked. 
all castle nuts and cotter pins are in place and secure with no missing parts. They are not cracked, broken, or damaged. Brake group. Brake hoses, securely mounted, not cracked or worn, and have no missing hardware. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts, and not leaking from the lines or couplings. Brake chambers, securely mounted, not cracked or dented and not leaking. The clamps and hardware are in place with no missing hardware. Slack adjusters and push rod. Say, I would chock my wheels, release my brakes, and pull on the push rod. It should not move more than one inch. Slack adjuster and push rod should be securely mounted with no loose, broken, or missing parts. Just touch and say, you do not have to demonstrate this. Brake drum, securely mounted, not cracked, bent, and there's no holes, and there's no debris, oil, or grease inside the drum. Brake shoes, securely mounted, not cracked or broken, must not be worn dangerously thin, and they are in proper placement within the drum. There is no debris, oil, or grease inside the shoe. Steer wheel group. Front tire. The tire tread must have 4 30 seconds of an inch or more of tread depth in all grooves. The tread is evenly worn, with no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, or other damage to the tread or sidewalls. The tire must be beaded properly to the rim with no leaks around the rim, and say, I would check the tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge at the valve stem. The valve stem and valve cap are not missing, broken, or damaged, and are not leaking. Rims. The rims are not damaged, not cracked, bent, or broken, and have no unauthorized welds, and they are securely mounted. Lug nuts. Securely mounted, not cracked, and none missing. There are no rust trails or shiny threads that would indicate looseness or cross-threading. The bolt holes are not cracked or distorted. Hub oil seal. Securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken or damaged, and they're not missing any hardware, not leaking, and the oil level is correct. I would check this visually with the sight glass or remove the plug and check with my finger. Everything I have inspected on the driver's side of my engine, I would do the same for inspections on the passenger side. Next, side of the cab inspection. Mirrors, touch and say. The mirrors and brackets are securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. The mirrors are clean and adjusted for me. The heater wire is securely mounted with no bare or frayed wires and operates properly. My door, securely mounted, not damaged, cracked or broken, and it opens and closes from the outside. Demonstrate as you commentate. Door hinges, not damaged and securely mounted with no looseness or missing hardware. Lift on the bottom of the door to demonstrate this. Door seal, present on both the door and the vehicle, is not cracked, frayed or worn. Steps, the steps are securely mounted, no missing hardware, and free of any oil, ice, fuel or debris. Fuel tank, securely mounted, not dented or damaged. The cap is present and in good condition and tight. There's a good seal and is not leaking. There are no leaks from the tank or lines. The lines are secure and not cracked. Tank straps are secure with a rubber gasket between the tank and straps, and they are not cracked or broken. My bulkhead, touch and say. The bulkhead is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. There are no illegal holes or welds. Exhaust system. My exhaust system is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken, has no missing hardware. It is not leaking around the clamp, as would be indicated by soot or rust. The support brackets and clamp are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, with no missing hardware. Drive shaft. My drive shaft is securely mounted, no missing hardware, not cracked, bent or broken. The couplings are securely mounted with no missing hardware, and there's no foreign objects lodged in them. The drive shaft is not twisted and is securely mounted to the transmission and the rear differential. It is not cracked, bent, or broken, and is well lubricated. Frame. My frame is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, has no missing hardware, and there are no illegal welds or holes drawn in the flange or the frame. Cross members. Touch and say. The cross members are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken, with no missing hardware. There are no illegal welds or holes all the way down the truck. There is no rust, and it's not sagging, as it makes up the frame of the box and supports the weight of the load. Floor. Floor is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken, there's no missing hardware. There are no holes or damage anywhere on the floor of the truck. Box. Box is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken, there's no missing hardware. There are no illegal welds or holes in the box of the truck. Lateral rails. Touch and say. The lateral rails is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken, with no missing hardware. There are no illegal welds or holes anywhere on the truck. Also, there is no rust. DOT reflective tape. Touch and say. DOT reflective tape is present, clean, not ripped, torn or damaged, and secure all the way down the truck. The truck has 50% or more of the coverage down the side. Marker lights. Go to the middle of the truck, point and say, the marker lights from the middle to the front are amber in color and red at the rear. They are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, and they operate properly. Reflector lights. Touch or point and say, the reflector lights from the middle to the front are amber in color and red at the rear. They are all securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, and they operate properly. 
Spring hangers. My spring hangers are securely mounted, not cracked, bent, or broken. There's no missing hardware, and there's no damaged or missing bushings. The rear shackle is in place with the bushing. Leaf springs. Securely mounted. There are no leaves missing. They are not shifted, scissored, cracked, or broken. U bolts. Securely mounted. No missing hardware. Not cracked, bent, broken, or loose. There are four nuts, four washers, and four bolts. There are no shiny threads that would indicate looseness or cross-threading. Torque rudder mount. My torque rudder mount is not damaged and is securely mounted. It is not cracked or broken. There's no missing hardware. Brake hoses. Securely mounted, not cracked or worn, no missing hardware. No abrasions, bulges or cuts, no leaks from the lines or couplings. Brake chambers. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken. There's no dents, no leaks. The clamps and hardware are in place with no missing hardware. Slack adjusters and push rod. Say, I would chock my wheels, release my brakes and pull on the push rod. It should not move more than one inch. The slack adjuster and push rod should be securely mounted with no loose, broken, or missing parts. Brake drum. Securely mounted, not cracked and bent. There's no holes, and there's no debris, oil, or grease inside the drum. Brake shoes. Securely mounted, not cracked or broken, must not be worn dangerously thin, and they are in proper placement within the drum. There is no debris, oil, or grease inside the shoe. Wheel group. Both drive tires. Touch both tires and say, the drive tire tread must be at least 230 seconds or more of an inch in every major groove on the tread. The tread is evenly worn, with no abrasions, bulges or cuts. There's no wires showing or other damage to the tread or sidewalls. Axle seal, touch and say. The axle seal is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. It is not leaking and the oil level is at the correct operating range. I would get a mechanic to check this. Mud flaps, touch and say. The mud flaps are securely mounted with no missing hardware. The mud flaps are not torn, cut or ripped. They are clear of the pavement and not dragging on the ground. My roll up door, touch and say. The roll up door is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken with no missing hardware. This door does not have a seal. The door opens and closes properly and latches from the outside. The latch is securely mounted, not cracked, bent, broken and has no missing hardware. Four light check, touch and say. These are my brake lights, emergency lights, signal lights and tail lights. They are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, red in color and they operate properly. Reverse lights, touch both of them and say, the reverse lights are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, white in color, and they operate properly. Marker lights. Point out the five marker lights on top of the truck and say that the marker lights are securely mounted, not cracked or broken, clean, red in color, and they operate properly. DOT tape. Touch and say. The DOT reflective tape is present, clean, not ripped, torn or damaged, and secure all the way around the back of the truck, and it has 100% coverage. Lift gate. If I have a lift gate, I'll touch and say that the lift gate is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken, with no missing hardware, it is fully retracted and is latched securely. It operates properly by the switch, point to the switch, and is not leaking from the pump. The pump is securely mounted, not cracked, bent or broken. It is not leaking from the hoses. The hoses are securely mounted, not cracked, worn or broken, and they have no missing hardware. The wires are securely mounted with no missing hardware. There are no bare wires or frayed wires. Now, before continuing on, consider any missed items. If you've forgotten something, now is the chance to say it. Once you're done, go to the right rear corner of the truck and say I'll inspect the passenger side in the same method and manner as I check the driver's side. This video is for training students in Georgia in the United States to assist them to pass their CDL driving test. It may be beneficial for other students looking to learn to drive a truck in other states in the US and even around the world, but please know that the testing requirements will differ from state to state. This information is correct in 2023 at the time of publication, but testing requirements may very well change in the coming years ahead. On your test day, if you aren't driving equipment identical to what is shown in these videos, please consider what differences your test equipment has and ensure that you say what is shown here, applying it to the vehicles that you will use.